Welcome back, people, to the land of Pularin. I figured I'd show you some more updates. Some are works in progress. Some are completed. Like right now, we're staring at the Glass Palace, which is still a work in progress. It's a mainland's working. It's going fairly nicely. There's a really cool ballroom on the top. That's in the works with that cool diamond block. Got a little garden going on over here. Phone room down at the bottom. And mostly all the work we've done with Chisel on this, the mod that we just added on. We also added on a new mod called Like and It's Mobs, which just adds a whole new ton of stuff like elementals and trolls and lava monsters. Just all sorts of stuff. But if we go down here, this is really where she's been working on. Is in this room right here, we have a little spot in here that's a maze that I'm not even sure I remember how to get through it. So let's see here, figure it out. Oh, there we go, we're good. That comes over to this ladder. And if we go down to it, and what I plan on doing is I'll probably flesh this out, maybe, maybe. Well, it's pretty, we'll see, we'll see. Got the ladder that's going down. And then it comes all the way down here to the bottom. We got this lava pool that's covered by glass. And this is the part where I'm probably going to flush out, because this is really, really dark and really hard to navigate. But eventually you'll come through um, a little hallway that comes down into this door. And when you open up, Bam! Let's break this real quick so we can get up here. It's an even bigger maze! Oh my gosh! Now for right now, the reason why I say it's a work in progress is because for right now, you'll see that there's red um, windows. And the reason for that is because um, that's like the main path through kind of needed to do that in order to actually make the um, make the maze itself or else I'd just get lost. Go ahead and close that up. So that if you follow the red, you'll make it through. At least for right now. I totally plan on changing all this red into white in order to make it a real maze, or into the same glass to make it a real maze. Um, and then these parts over here are just like dead ends that you can get lost in. You also notice like right here there's spots that aren't covered up yet because I'm still going through making sure everything's sealed up and ready to go. Um, what also I'm going to do, what I'm also going to do, is once I have everything sealed up on the roof, I'm going to go ahead and put lava, just like I did over here. Lava that will come down onto the ceiling. That way the whole thing is encased in lava, so you get that whole uh, feeling that you're just covered in lava and there's like no way out. There's a whole bunch of doors to, uh, to make things more confusing. This is a whole area right here that I totally need to finish to make a maze out of. And there's another section, I believe, over here. And yeah, this is another section that needs to be done. But really what it amounts to is that Maylin and I, in a previous server that we were doing, Maylin and I decided that we wanted to make two polar opposite castles. One would be beautiful and majestic and made of glass, and would be the glass palace. And the other one would be dark and evil and made out of like obsidian and stuff like that and then there would be some sort of elaborate connection between the two that is like either underground or in above the sky or something like that and this is what it is we so you come through the maze and you come out here and if you plan to make it to the other side then you can come on up through here and here's a little cavern that's left open for like all of people who come to play, they can come mine out over there or something. But they come up here through these long steps. 
and as they start to reach the surface, they notice that things start changing a little bit. It looks like the nether. And then you come in through here, and you come into this tower that leads up, and you climb up through here. And then lo and behold, there is the evil counterpart of the castle. Pretty badass. It's pretty basic on the inside. There's the bridge that connects from the... But you come on in through here, and it's really dark, so I think you should... Moving through here, and you got this room right here. Really nothing to see. And then you go up to the second floor, and it has much of the same thing on the top. Over here is the actual official entrance, so if you didn't come through come through the um, maze and whatnot, here's the ragged, like, rough um, entryway into the castle. You come through these stairs, through this weird makeshift cavern. Come on down through here, and then things get a little bit perilous. You got the nether that seems to be encroaching into the overworld. Come on down through here. Got the tree here that's kind of blocking your way. But you gotta be more careful. Come down through here. You notice that nether trees are here. Places on fire. And there's one of the new monsters. They spawn wherever there's an open fire source. So on this island, there's probably going to be a lot of them that spawns from time to time. So we come back over through here, and your exit should be down here. And as you can see, it's pretty well populated with these cinders so far. But yeah, the, the island itself is barren, it's full of this mycelium stuff to make it look like, you know, there's no life on it at all. The lone cow is stuck here. Not ready to be eaten by the savages of the netherworld or just poked with an arrow. Lava pools. All sorts of good stuff going on here. So yeah, I just thought I would show you the work uh, happenings that we've been doing. Um, later on I'll show you a more finished work of the glass castle as well as when the maze is finished. I'll go ahead and show you the maze as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this next, this latest view of Polarne. And soon, uh, we have an FTP server up, so I, uh, those that want to join can get a hold of me or Malin, and uh, we can uh, get you set up for all the mods to the FTP server. And hopefully soon we'll also have a website up on that. FTP as well, so it's uh things are looking up. Things are looking better for Polarnin. We're advancing. We're we've got new members. In fact, Malin was just on a few minutes ago working, and there's another day cap. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.